Rudy Gilbertson's workshop here in Minnesota on a nice January day. It's about zero outside and we're thinking about sleighs. So, Verdi, uh, we're going to build a cutter, working it back, and this is a cutter we got back in about 1982 from Cavendish, Vermont. It was over 100 years old then. And uh, I gave it to my dad. Now, Verdi, he's finally getting around to putting it together. So you're going to tell us a little bit about what it looked like and uh, how what you're doing to put it together. Okay, go ahead. Um, after Keith brought this cutter back from uh, Vermont, I was happy to see another cutter. I had restored probably two cutters before that. And I was also glad to see another one because I, I really enjoyed restoring cutters. And this one came, as you saw in the picture there, it was, um, it wasn't in pretty bad shape. The, 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 some of the wood in it was uh, dry rotted and I was going to try to use all the parts I could from the original. So uh, I disassembled it and I took the parts off like the moldings and that, and then I traced them on new basswood and made new moldings, new parts. And uh, I did that with um, all of the body because uh, if you see the edges of somewhere it was fastened was so dry rotted, I, I wasn't able to reuse the wood, it was too poor. It was poor shape. And it was basswood, and I, I got, um, had basswood plate and dome, so it's exactly the same thickness as the original. And I, the, uh, and uh, so this is the way it turned out. I made all the parts that are duplicated from the original. And uh, so when I put it back together again, I wanted it to look exactly like the original cutter. And I think it worked out pretty good. It took a long time to make all the pieces in here. I had to replace them. They weren't in very good shape. And then the bend I had to do a lot of wood bending from the original. I had to bend, dude. It used ash wood for bending. And, uh, this is um, yeah, basswood, which is like the original, same thickness, and so, and the part of the back of the seat, and you can see a little bit of the back of it, it's got the design of an eagle on the back. Mm -hmm. It's so faint, but I, I kept the old wood, so if there's some way that um, I could duplicate the paintings on them, but that's not going to be too easy to do. It looked like they used a gold leaf in those days. Mm -hmm. It's a gold color. And then it had a, um, a lot of pinstriping on it. And uh, all along the molding had pinstriping. Mm -hmm. And on the dash, and uh, so I'm going to try to duplicate that after it's painted. And now, uh, back here is the runner part, which was actually in pretty good shape. Uh, this is the dash which had to be rebuilt. This is the new dash part. It looks about fits in like this. Mm -hmm. And that was, the original bash was not, the wood was the same problem. So, then I had to bend some ash here to get the original, like the original was. So it's a stacked copy of the original. And you had to do a lot of bending of um, basswood to get the shape of the old cutter. And so that took a long time. It's not slow work, mostly hand work. So that's the dash, and that's, and Keith already painted that. So uh, then I have the little eagles that fit on the front here, yep. They go a little uh, metal iron eagles. 
Then there's a rain holder that goes on top of here too, that problem. But the runners actually were pretty good shape. The wood I is just all the runners, this part and these parts, this is new. This one was rotted and this is the old one, the way the old one came off. So you see it was pretty bad shape. So I bent it exactly the same as the old one. And that's just here. So these two parts are new. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is all original except one piece I had to replace right up in here that was broken. I put a new piece in there. And, uh, but all the rest of these parts are original and they're real solid yet. The wood is real hard. Hundred, about 104. That's original, that's original. All the iron work is original. So this is practically all original. The bottom over, part. Over 140 years old. Yeah. So uh, then it uh, did a lot of sanding on it and uh, sanded it. There was some rusty, the iron parts were pretty rusty. Sanded it down and uh, put a new coat of paint on there and uh, still have to paint this red, this, the wood part. And uh, so. That's how far we are now. So the next step is um, is to um, mostly assembling it again and to paint the body ultimate paint it yet. Keith does the painting on the body. And uh, uh, these pieces were broken right here. These go up over the top of the dash that braces up the dash and they're real fancy. I got tape on the top of it because it's so sharp. Mm -hmm. And I had to get those welded. I took them to a welder and he welded those so they're back to original, original pieces. And you can tell it's hand forged because these two pieces, one on each side, aren't exactly the same. They, as far as you can see, so whoever back there over a hundred years ago when they made them in the Ford, they didn't come out exactly the same. And these bolts, these eye bolts here, are uh, hand forged. They're pounded out. You can see they pounded them out flat. There's a little notch in, worn in it here. So it's almost worn through from use. So from the, the shaft would fast on here, from this thing moving back and forth, it almost wore through this metal. So okay. that's the next step is to finish painting this part and then uh, we can assemble it. Okay, we'll then make we'll some more pictures. Of we'll make a make a make a video when you assemble it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much.